A while back, I wanted to get rid of an annoying ring my snare had without totally deadening it. This is hard to do well with moon gel or tape because those things kill too much of a drum's natural tone. I wanted my drum to still sound like a snare and resonate with all its natural overtones, all the natural ring. I just wanted to shorten the ring. But I didn't want to get rid of it, I just wanted to shorten it. So I ended up finding a great solution to this that's actually worked really well for me over the last several years. This jingly bracelet thing here is a solid object that I place on my drum head. When I strike the snare, it bounces up for just a second, allowing full frequency resonance from the drum, then it drops back down, resting on the head and stopping the ringing. So it's the perfect solution. We still have full tone and a natural sound, just a shorter version of it. The only problem is most of you guys don't have this exact jingly bracelet thing at home. So we're setting out today to find a household object that you can place on your snare to muffle it musically, just like this does. The only rule is that this is something we have to be able to make from common household resources for essentially zero dollars. Then we're gonna put our creations to the test to see which does the best job of shortening the tone of the snare and making it sound most full and musical just without the ring, shortening the ring. And the best part about this is that you'll be able to follow along with me and do this yourself at home too. You can do this. So this really ended up being a lot of fun because I thought I was gonna have a hard time finding items to use for this test, but I quickly realized I've got stuff all over the place here, just random pieces of junk and just random household or like office desk items that actually work really well for this. And so you can totally make these two yourself some of these are like unique things I just happen to find here, but others you can totally make from scratch. But I encourage you to get creative and figure some of this out on your own too. I was interested in the pocket change idea because I like the idea of having something metal to muffle my snare because that's kind of the, the way the, the jingle bracelet was. That's a metallic item that was muffling the, the drum and it worked really well. And so I thought, well, what if I can have like pocket change on there? So I decided to tape some pennies to a piece of gaff tape make sure those were secure, and then basically have this strip of pennies on the gaff tape, put that face down on the drum, tape to the edge, that way it can bounce up freely, because remember our rule here is that it has to be something that isn't taped to the drum head. We're taping it to the rim or the outside of the drum so that it rests on the head so that when we hit the drum, it bounces up, especially if we hit the drum hard so that we get lots of tone, fullness. I also have this old wallet that I used years ago, just a typical um, trifold wallet that's that leather material. And so you can place an entire wallet on a snare and it'll really kill it. It'll make it sound like a concert snare basically, where it's very articulate, a very short sound. And that works great if that's what you want. But most of the time for a good drum set snare sound, that's not what we want. But I realized, okay, I can set this wallet up to function as a gate. If I have one side of it unfolded, I can lay that one thin side on the head with the heavier side off the edge. And actually the way my kit set up, I could situate it between the snare and the rack tom so that it wasn't gonna go anywhere. And if it was gonna fall, I could always add some extra tape if I needed to. Also, I wanted to use something cardboard, like a little cardboard box. There was one that I had in mind that I couldn't find around here, but I ended up finding this little box of staples that actually worked pretty well too because it rests on there smoothly, taped it to the edge, Cool, it fulfills the requirements, it functions as a gate, so we'll see how that one sounds. I also found lying around this little black cup holder thing, like th this came from one of the cup holders in my 1997 Honda Accord that I had years ago. And basically you put it into one of the cup holders to make it smaller for smaller cups. So somehow this ended up on my shelf and it's just been sitting here. And so this actually worked pretty well because it's a flush plastic surface on the head. And so it fulfills our requirements because it's lightweight, it bounces up very easily. That's something, a difference that you'll hear between all these items, depending on their weight, they bounce up more slowly or quickly, they provide some rattle or they change the overtones, but this one worked pretty well, I think you'll like it. So then I decided to raid my wife's jewelry stash because I thought, well, my jingly bracelet thing is technically a, a jewelry kind of item and that's been my favorite for a long time. So what if some other piece of jewelry could sound really cool? So this was actually really interesting. I, I found this big like necklace kind of thing that sounded about the way I expected it to sound, uh, which is great, it works really well actually. But there was this other more thin metal chain kind of necklace that actually morphed the pitch of the drum in a really weird way. So you'll definitely wanna hear how this sounds. You can get some really interesting results when you have metallic objects on the snare, especially if it's a bunch of metallic objects like a chain. If you have a little chain, um, like a tiny chain with all these little ringlets, you can get really cool sounds. So definitely experiment with that. If you can get your hands on some jewelry that you can put on your snare or just small chains, that works great. Now, time for the comparison. Let's jump over to the kit and do it. Decide for yourself which one you like the most. Comment below with which household item thing that I tested here, 
which did you like the sound of the most? And some of these you can very much go create on your own, especially the pennies on the gaff tape. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it served some practical purpose for you and inspired you to go and figure out how to musically muffle your snare without killing all of the overtones. If it did, if this helped you out, be sure to subscribe before you go. And also check out the free e-guide, my gift to you before you leave. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay non-glamorous.